say. Just listen for a second here. Fine. I need your help. I overheard the clown telling the musician that Cassio is planning on kidnapping Desdemona. Whoa, that's a serious accusation. <clears throat> I don't think Cassio would do something like that. Clowns don't lie, man. It's the truth. Mm. I'm serious here. Cassio has been obsessed with Desdemona for weeks. Okay, fine. Let's talk hypothetically here. What can we do about it? Well, I have an idea. It's a little crazy. Go on. We have to kill him, Roderigo. I can't kill someone, but it means protecting my Desdemona. I knew I could count on you. Look, here he comes. He looks a little bit tipsy. Oh, I, um, just have to go, uh, do something. Well, then. Hey, I know you! <clears throat> I'll fight for my love, you villainous rogue. Wait, what are you doing? I'll never let you kidnap Desdemona. What are you talking about? Why am I kidnapping her? What? No, Iago told me how he overheard the clown talking about it. I'd never do that. Oh, sorry about that then. Are we still bros? Yeah, man. Let's hug it out. <laughs> Hi ya! <laughs> hey, what was that for, Cassio? I thought we were bros. What? Oh, God! You're bleeding! <laughs> oh, yeah, see how you like it. <laughs> I just can't. What do you mean? Of course you can. No, really. I can't. I tried. Useless. Psst. No, you're the useless one. You, you scoundrel. You stupid. I shall be leaving now. What an idiot. If only he could actually do something useful and do what I say. I need to think of another way to kill Desdemona. I guess I could poison her. Though, I shouldn't do it myself. What if I get caught? Everything would be ruined. Let's see. Bianca! She doesn't know much about Desdemona, though it's Desdemona's handkerchief she was jealous of. It should be simple enough to convince her. How convenient. Hey, Iago. Just the man I was looking for. Do you know who Cassio is? Well, I hate to break the news to you, but... He's sleeping with the fishes now. Rodrigo and Cassio killed each other in a jealous rage. So they're both dead now. What? I can't believe it. Yeah, and it's all because of that scandalous Desdemona. She wanted the attention of two men fighting over her. So now they're dead because of her. She did this? I... I hate her. You can get revenge, though. You can poison her. Well, I guess that'd work. I can be stealthy. Great. Fantastic. Make sure she gets it tonight. Where is Othello? He shouldn't be out this late. He'll catch a cold. Oh, I'm hungry right now. Hello there, Desdemona, my lady. Are you feeling a little hungry? Why, yes, yes, yes. I am feeling a bit peckish at the moment, but... Wait, who are you anyway? Oh, I'm B. Brian, new chef here. And I have to have some food right here. An apple. A caramel apple with extra nuts. Just the way you like it, yes. A caramel apple? Well, in that case, um, nom 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 nom. Mmm, delicious. I can't believe you fell for that. What are you? Oh, I'm what? What have you done? Oh, nothing of great significance. Just a wee bit of poison, my dear. Why? Why? Because of Cassio. <laughs> See, my lord, the deed is done, and here lies Desdemona. Good riddance. Thank you, Iago. You're a great friend.
for murdering my wife. I heard my lady shrieking in a terrible manner, and I... Amelia, what are you doing here? Get away, you are not needed. Desdemona! Iago, what have you done? Now, woman, don't overreact. I have Iago. Silence, Desdemona. Your own wife and an innocent woman? Innocent? Ha, she had an infatuation for my Cassio, and that infatuation caused her death. I should have poisoned her wit back when she gave him that handkerchief. The same handkerchief that I gave to her. Yes, and that same handkerchief that my husband had me steal from him. Is that true? Oh, Desdemona, what have I done? Don't blame yourself. Can't you see this is all he's doing? Congratulate him, then. He has rid the world of a deceitful strumpet. Don't you dare say that again. My mistress was a sweet and innocent woman. A strumpet! Desdemona's over there by the window, and Iago, your wife, and another woman's from burnt remains lay scattered at my feet. Well, yeah. A fellow, I was not blind to the violence you displayed towards your wife the other day. Was her death your doing? It basically was. Is that a yes? Very well. I'm sorry about this, Othello. I once admired you as a valiant man, but for this, you will be hanged. Iago, in the absence of Lieutenant Cassio, congratulations, you've been pr promoted. Finally, I have a fellow's job. All the power I ever wanted. I fought for this for so long, and I sacrificed so much. All of my friends and co-workers are dead. And my wife. Because of me. Oh, what is this? Now that I have achieved what I wanted, I actually am feeling moral regret? Eh, no, not really. Make way for General Iago! Mwahahahaha! <laughs>